uh, as a California gallery, I feel it's really important uh, that shows like this exist in our state that, uh, that tends to be an East Coast bias when it comes to serious collecting and design shows. And uh, I think that the collection of dealers, uh, both international and national, that Dolphin has pulled together for this show uh, puts it on par with the best shows in the country, and I'm very excited to see it continue uh, to blossom. San Francisco 20th Century Show, in my opinion, is one of the most cutting edge and stylish shows of its type in the United States. 20th century is really what San Francisco right now is all about. We specialize in 20th century silver, especially the works of George Jensen, Jean Puy Foucault, and many of the other finest designers of the 20th century. We deal in 20th and 21st century uh, furniture and objects, and we're located here in San Francisco. The SF20 sh uh, 20th show is a liaison between the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art and um, the SF20 show, and it uh, benefits the museum. Um, every year the museum um, takes the money that's collected, and I believe it's uh, around twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. The Designers Forum, chaired by Douglas Durkin, uh, raises funds that allows the museum to make an acquisition from an exhibitor in the show for the museum's design and architecture collection. I'm really excited to be able to add SF MoMA to the list of institutions I've, uh, I've sold to as it seems that they're going to be accessioning a piece from uh, our booth. This show features 35 exhibitors from across the U.S. and Europe. Hasla Burroughs from New York is one of the world's foremost experts on 20th century Scandinavian design. Our 20th century specializes in the design of emerging artists as well as vintage 20th century design. Battersea is a local dealer from San Francisco. He's an interior designer, Will Wick, and he's done this show for three years now and has watched it grow. Silverman Gallery is another San Francisco local art gallery specializing in contemporary art. What I bring to Gray Gallery is the jewelry department. And um, besides myself being one of the jewelry designers, we are also trying to showpiece um, very talented artists, one of them being Lara Kulajan, based out of Montmartre in Paris. And she works from her very, very tiny studio that also happens to be her apartment. A lot of people don't realize that artists like Picasso or Matisse or um, Brock or even current day artists like Lichtenstein um, actually produce jewelry. I also have a focus on jewelry by artisans and studios. Small, one-of-a-kind houses that produced um, individualized pieces. I'll have an occasional piece from 1940s by Maupassant or Boucheron. Um, so the, that's generally what I focus on in the jewelry. The walls actually are by two artists, um, one by the name of Jared Costa, also known as Gesso. Um, a graffiti writer originally from San Francisco and uh, who made his mark on the city, to say the least, in the 90s. He teamed up with uh, Jesse Geller, who was originally from Philadelphia but who's based in San Francisco now as well, who is a graffiti writer and artist. And uh, the two of them, I think, did a beautiful job. Been dealing in 20th century design but have always had an emphasis in uh, fine art. This show has amazing creative energy behind it. 21 Pop is an amazing concept brought forth by Stanley Gaddy to sort of bridge the material that's shown in the show with the creative energy that brings that material to the marketplace. The SF2021 preview party benefiting SF MoMA is really an exciting affair that draws a number of the who's who of San Francisco's art and design community. It's sponsored by Grey Goose, Masonry Napa Valley, Artists, Capital Management, Christie's, Gucci, and our exclusive online sponsor, First Dips. We expect over a thousand people in attendance tonight, which is probably one of the biggest must-see, must-be-at events in San Francisco this year. Welcome to SF 2021, year four. How about it?